Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be going over to Node Package Manager in order to install packages. Now all a package is is basically reusable code that we can include within our own application. It's a folder with one or more modules within it. So to get started we're actually going to head over to Chrome real quick. And there's actually a website called npmjs.com. Now, npmjs.com is where we can actually look and discover new packages that we can include within our application. So I'm just gonna pick out a package and we're gonna install it and then use it. So I'm just gonna scroll down and you could use the search up here or let's just pick a popular package so you can see packages that a lot of people are installing and scroll down more and let's pick Lodash. And then here we're given a bunch of instructions. So it says in order to install this package, I just have to type in this command npm i. I is shorthand for install and then the name of the package. So in this case, the package's name is Lodash. So if I head back to Visual Studio Code and I type npm install lodash, you can see that it goes out and it downloads the package for me automatically. And now if I head back to my package.json file, the JSON file that we created in the previous tutorial, you'll notice that we have an extra property and within this property is called dependencies. And then it gives us the name of the package we installed, as well as the package version that we installed. So now if I was just to hit control B, you would see that we have a extra folder and this extra folder is called node modules. So if I open this up, you can see that our load dash installation is stored here within this folder. So now this is all fine and dandy, but how would I now use Lodash within my own personal project? So I'm just going to hit control B and we're going to close out our package.json file. We're going to go to app.js and basically what we're going to do is require it. So I'm just going to say const underscore is equal to require Lodash. And now from here, let's actually use it to, to prove that this is working. So I'm just going to say underscore dot fill and fill is basically going to take an array. So I'm just going to pass in an array one, two, three, four, five. And the second argument is going to take in a value. What do you want to replace these numbers with? So I'm just going to say banana. And the third argument is going to be the start index. So what I want to do is start at index one. And the last argument is going to be the end index. And since we have five elements within our array, the last index would be four. So let's actually store this within a variable. So I'm just going to say let example is equal to that. And we're just going to print out this onto the console. So I'm just going to hit control S to save. We're going to go to node app. And you can see that we required Lodash into our application. And we've tested that one of the methods within Lodash is actually working. So we get a new array and we filled in index one to three with the value of banana. And let's say that for whatever instance that you installed the wrong module or you want to get rid of a module. So if I hit control B and we're just going to bring up the package.json file, I'm going to hit control B again. What I can do is I could say npm uninstall and then the package name which is going to be lodash and you can see that lodash is removed from our dependencies and if i hit control b 
you can see that our node underscore modules folder no longer exists. And that's because we have no dependencies that our application is using currently.